Yeah, this is definitely the most profound teaching that I've encountered so far, and I've spent over the last 15 years or so really searching to really find something that makes sense of, on all levels. And here I feel like there's three pillars. One is the yoga, then the philosophy, and then the mantras. And the yoga to me is, of all the yogas I've done, is the one I feel like that allows me to relax the most. And also I feel like after having done it for a while now, it also is a sense of balancing everything more than other systems I've, I've tried. And then the philosophy, I find it really helps me to see the larger whole and who I am as part of that larger whole. And I study it, I tried to find answers through science, answers through even religion when I was a kid. None of that really ever truly made sense. And here, Sean encourages all of us to really look at science and to really look at also psychology and not take anything um, that he says for gospel, just he gives us information and we encourage to really look at everything ourselves and to come up with our own conclusions. And the conclusion I've come up with so far is that this makes the most sense to me. And then the third thing is the mantras. And the mantra really is to bring the knowledge into the subconscious to really deeply embody this way of life and to gain freedom like that. This just mere intellectual knowledge obviously, as we all know, doesn't really do anything. But so I find the combination between the, the yoga, the physical and the knowledge and then the, the mantra, the embodiment of the knowledge through that particular practice really made an incredible difference and I see it making a difference in a lot of people. Yes, I'm, I'm really privileged to be part of this place, to really be here.